Yeah. Hello and welcome back to Careers Portal. I'm Shakira and today I'm at Folds Bay TV at College with Charlene Matthews, who is the Deputy Principal of Academic Services, to talk about the study options for both unemployed and employed people looking to upskill themselves. What can Folds Bay TV College offer these people looking to upskill themselves? Um, we've got various programs that we offer. So, you know, when you look at, you, you've got to look at the different levels of students. So any student who completed grade 9, but they don't have grade 12, there's an option to do the National Certificate Vocational. Um, and we offer that in various in different streamlines or occupations. For example, engineering, electrical, um, IT, as well as business studies. Um, so there's that option. For our grade 12 or matriculants, they can, when they, if they passed, they can apply for the national diploma, which is an NQF6. Um, so they, they do an N4 to N6 qualification, and that is in, in business studies. Um, we call it NATED programs. Um, so they could do public management, HR, financial management, management assistant, as well as the um, in the engineering field, you could do an N1 to N3 or N4 to N6 in those in, in, in engineering. I believe you specialize in maritime studies? Yes, we do. We In maritime studies, currently we're offering um, yacht and boat building, as well as rigging and transport and logistics. Um, so that's, the, the, that's what we can offer them. These are all programs that make them employable. And where is the college situated? We have different campuses. So we have one in Kalicha, which is plain, um, in Fishuk, Westlake, and then we also have one in Musenberg right here. Um, so they are, so these campus, if they go on our website, they will see that each campus actually specialise in a specific area. So if you want to do hospitality you, and tourism, you can go to Musenberg. So which fields do you cover? Um, so we cover hospitality, tourism, all the business studies, which is a combination of um, like your office administration, finance, HR, etc. And then we also cover safety and society. We have engineering electrical as well as um, motor, um, motor mechanic or um, pa uh, spray painting as well. And IT, um, in IT we have uh, uh, two directions that the students can follow. Either you can do a national certificate in computer science or robotics. So there's two streams which they can choose. We have a, a bursary officer at each of our campuses and we will assist our students to apply for the NSFAS um, funding, bursary funding, and um, they fund all our programs. And you know, if a student struggles, there is a portal. They can do it on their own, but if they, if they struggle, they can come into the specific campus and our officer will assist and help them to guide them how to apply. Um, so the funding is there, they just basically have to obviously bring the necessary documents um, like proof of, of registration, proof that they have passed or their highest qualification, the um, address, proof of address, and then they must fall in the range of 350000 for the parents' income. So there is funding opportunity. The, this person will pay for tuition. It will also cover their personal allowance as well as their travelling allowance. Um, in some cases, if a student should not um, students could also have the option to apply for accommodation, depending on the criteria, obviously. And for those watching who are interested in applying at Faultsway College, how should they go about doing that? They can go onto our website. We have an online registration system. Onto our website, www.faultsbaycollege.co.za, um, and, and there's a whole step. The process will guide you how to apply, but should a student really struggle and they don't have the facilities and they don't have the, the data or internet, they can always just call our campus, any campus that they want, which, which they want to study at, and uh, make an appointment, and the campus will assist them to do the online registration at the campus, um, so they are welcome. On the website, they will also find the contact details of each of our campuses. So I would really want to, to motivate students to you know, use the facility. If you don't have it, we will really definitely assist you by coming to the campus. So just give the campus a call. So maybe just advice to students, when you apply online, please have the following documents available. You must upload 
your, a copy of your ID, your latest results, as well as proof of residence um, onto our system. And when you actually log into our website, there's, there are different steps that will guide you. So the step one, you have to do step, step one first by completing the career guidance questionnaire, and then it will take you to the following step. So don't skip any steps. Do start from step one until you are done, until you actually upload your, your questionnaire. And then I also want to remind you that when you do apply online, the campus will then verify your documents and they will send you an offer letter. Please do not think that the offer letter is registration completed. It is not. You need to accept the offer letter and notify the campus that you have and you will normally be given five days to respond to your offer letter. So please respond um, by following the instructions that's given to you in the offer letter.